Hello, YouTube modeling community. How you guys doing? I'm not doing too bad. Thanks for asking. Ha! Ah. Well, I'm gonna go over a few things today. Um, I gotta ramble. <laughs> Imagine that, Wayne rambling. Duh. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what do I got first. Um, Wayne Osborne. He uh, put a question out to the community the other day, and I'll go ahead and answer that now. Uh, yes, in fact, I do. Um, every time I'm going somewhere, whether it be, you know, a mile away or you know, more than a mile, naturally. But if it's going to another town or if I'm going on a long trip or whatever, yes. I scope out and see if there's any hobby shops in town, and then I go and check them out. Um, it's part of the beast, you know. <laughs> uh, once you have the styrene bug, you got the styrene bug. So that's your that's your answer. Um, next item, I'd like to say congratulations to all you guys that were that participated in the Doctor Cranky's calendar build. Amazing work, guys! Wow, you guys have some seriously cool builds. Um, I, I I'm blown away. Um, Hopefully one day I'll be on that level, but well deserved, guys. Well freaking deserved. Congratulations again. Um, ah, uh, ah, I keep looking at my notes. Sorry, guys. Um, Butch, full throttle customs. I know you're watching. I wasn't kidding when I said I want a tutorial for your frames. Um, it, you're driving me crazy, dude. Those frames and that tub work and stuff. It's amazing. Amazing. And I've got a couple builds eventually, you know, like here soon that I'd like to tub out and I'd like to build a frame for them because the frames they got with them ain't going to work. Um, but I'd like to get into that. That's something really cool. I'd love to see a tutorial, bro. Um, so if you could hook some brothers up, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look us up. But we'd appreciate it. Uh, you know, I know I'm not the only one that admires your frames and tub work and stuff. I know a few people that do. So hook us up. Um, uh, this isn't something I go around spouting off about or you know, you know. I, I, just my closest friends and my family know. Um, the, last year I had a bout with uh, bladder cancer. Um, caught it soon enough that we they went in, they removed it, and everything seems to be tracking okay. I still have to go in every three months to get checked up just in case I have a reoccurrence. So I, for one, appreciate what Cliff um, Roadhog is doing with his uh, cancer awareness. Um, it's something that, you know, there just needs to be more, you know, more, something more out there about it. Uh, it is just insidious and it, it, it'll hit anybody. It, it doesn't care. It doesn't care if you're a year old, a newborn, or if you're 60 or 70 or 80. I don't care. It's pardon the language. It's a bastard. Um. So yeah, I know. We're, I know. You know the fight that some of these people are going through. And I know mentally. You know when I found out, it was like, what the hell? Me really? Of all people, me. Um. So. You know, I, I feel where these people are. You know, mentally and physically. Uh, it, it was rough. I mean, and it's just something that, you know, unless you live it, you don't really understand it. And it's, I mean, you, you kind of can understand because everybody's been sick, but it's just one of those things that's in your head and it, and, and it cancer, that cancer word, you know, it just does things to your mind. Um, and there are times, you know, even still that, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, wow. 
I have to deal with the big C, you know, it, it's a possibility, you know, I'm, right now I'm good, and, you know, my last checkup was awesome, but, you know, it, it's one of those things that if you don't follow through and keep yourself on track with, it can, it can come back and bite you. Um, so the group build for the cancer awareness, I appreciate. Uh, I don't have anything going right now that I could see putting it in pink. I will, however, make sure that, uh, I at least one of one of these builds that I got going on, I will have at least a little placard, you know, or a little something with the pink ribbon on it for the awareness. Um, I mean, that's the least I can do. I the least I can do. Um, so I would like you know, like other people, I would encourage you guys to you know at least do that. Take one of your builds if you don't want to paint it pink. Um, at least put the ribbon, you know somewhere you know if it's got a base a diorama um, a sheet that tell you know especially if you know well you guys know that if you take it to a show you have to fill out the sheet um, even something simple just the little pink sticker you know the little ribbon you know for the cancer awareness please just put that if nothing else just put that on it um, anything that'll that's out there that helps it helps you know, um, yeah, enough of that, um, let's move on, uh, I finally got it today, uh, the local hobby shop, well, not hobby shop, but my local gamer place, uh, it finally came in today, it's the Fire Prism Warhammer 40k, it's actually pretty freaking cool. Um, tilt you down here real quick, and I'll show you what's what's in the box. Like that? Seven reference? Oh yeah, yeah no, okay. What's in the box? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna tilt you. Maybe. Eh. Eh. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see if I can blow you up here. Whoop! There we go. All right. Oh, clear parts. You know, I've already been through this box, and I have to say, I, I, I'm I'm disappointed. Um, fifty dollars, as you know. I mean, these things aren't cheap, but the molding and the ugh, it's just it's god awful. Um. I mean, the glass, well, you can't see on here, naturally, but it's all distorted and scratched and, yeah, just, yeah. it's bad. It's bad. Um, and big old scratch. I mean, yeah, you can see that one, but, I mean, really, come on. They didn't put them in a bag or anything. Good, pretty cool decals. I do have to give them that. Those are pretty cool. Um, instructions are less than fantastic, but they're molding. Ugh, ick. You can't see it, but it's rough. Oh my God. It's just rough, 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 rough. It's like they molded it and then just kind of popped it out and didn't put any release agent or anything in there. It just kind of like. Man, like somebody yanked it out and just left all kinds of rough texture on it. I don't know if it will show up on here, but I doubt it. I doubt it very highly. Yeah. Can't really see it. And it's... Wow. I mean, I've paid... You know, $25 or $10 for a kit, and the molding has been way better than this. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll see it. Ow, let me. Sorry about this. I should have done this beforehand, but I'm an, I'm an idiot. What can I say? 
So let me snip this off real quick. I want to get, get you guys a close up of this, this action here. This is ridiculous. And look at this. See how, well, let me get a pointer here. Where's my trusty pointer? See all that? Right there? Right there? I mean, come on. Seriously, guys? Seriously? I mean, God almighty. I mean, look at it. All this right over here. Down in here and stuff. <laughs> what the heck? You know? I I just don't, I, I'm befuddled. You know? you know, you would think that, you know, you pay this much for a kit and it would be a decent kit. It, it's not. I mean, yeah, it's cool looking. I'll give it that. It's it's really cool, but the mold quality is ridiculous. It's and I don't mean ridiculous in a good way either. It's bad. It's bad, bad, bad. So needless to say, that'll probably be the last kit I buy from this company. Um yeah, I'm not I'm not happy with it at all. Uh, I'm gonna build it because it's part of the tank group the tank build and I'm gonna muddle through it but it's gonna take a whole whole bunch of work to make it workable a whole bunch and with uh, you know let me tilt you back up here real quick there we are and uh, with uh, you know, I've got, well, I've already told you guys, I've got the uh, the show coming up, at, you know, in like two, two and a half weeks now. Um, and I've, I've got my, my Strike Rouge. I've got it all, I, got, I put it all together, tore it all apart. Um, now I'm priming my inner frame. Um, so that's something I'm probably going to do tonight is go ahead and get that primed up. Um, and then I'm going to have to go ahead, then I'm going to go ahead and shoot it all with gloss black and then start throwing my alclads on them. That way it can, I'm going to make it a metal, metal looking frame. And while that, while that's, while I'm working, bleh, while I'm working on that stuff, I've still got all these little parts, you know, all these, this whole freaking box. Yeah, the whole box. I've got to go through and sand every part, get every part ready for paint, you know, for primer than paint. Um, it's task. Um, yeah, I've been going, I've been, it took me two days, two days to sand all the pieces to the frame. And it's probably going to take me another, well, hopefully, hopefully. I'll be done sanding all this stuff by today's Wednesday, probably by Saturday evening, I'm hoping. So that'll leave me Sunday, I can maybe start getting some primer on all these parts, and then maybe spray them next week. Um, maybe. There's, that's a daunting task, doing all those freaking parts. Um, but that's it for now. Um, actually, probably not. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to call it good there. Um, like I said, there, there's, you know, the cancer awareness build Roadhog. I appreciate it, brother. I really do. Um, and like I said, I'll make a, you know, a little sticker or something. I'll find something to put on near one of my builds or on one of my builds, you know, at least the little sticker, um, to make that happen. Um, but, uh, yeah. I think that's it. I got went through all my notes and showed you what I need to show you. So we're good. So uh, until next time, peace. Keep on building, boys.